everybody. Welcome back to the More Freedom Railroad here on Railroader. Uh, today we've got a couple things we're going to be doing. One, we have to go over to the Ella Bridge site and pick up all those empty cars and bring them back over here to Whittier. And we need to pick up some full cars from the uh, the mill, the lumber mill, bring them back over here. And then we need to take some empty cars back to the lumber mill. So we've got a few things to do. Also, I haven't checked on what our log, what our log cars look like. So we also have log cars that we can go take to um, pick up logs for the sawmill. So probably need to do the logs. These cars, this guy is not full yet. Uh, looks like it's about half full, so it's probably going to be here another day. But these two over here are full. Uh, those are empties. We got some empties to bring over. We've got all sorts of things to do, so I think we should get into it. So I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump over here. And actually, we could probably go get that whole train from the Ella Bridge site. I'm trying to think. Nothing needs to go down there. So if I go get that one and then come back... We can do all the other things over here, probably, because uh, we got to come back over to this site anyway. So uh, let's do that. Let's uh, fire this engine up. Well, it's already fired up, but let's get it going in reverse, and uh, we'll head over towards the Ella Bridge site. As you can hear, I did change my whistle on the train, so it is different now. Uh, we'll give that a listen again. We can get it up here, up in person, up close and personal. Yeah, I think it sounds good. So if you didn't know, there are multiple different whistles that you can have in this game. Um, and they are in the information for the train that you're on. You can go over here to Equipment and then Customize. And you can select uh, the, the chime that you want. So I think a C of G6 chime is what I have right now. I'll make sure that our switches are flipped. So that one's good. Um, this one needs changed. And I would guess that this one needs changed as well. So one thing that I did do was I set it so we will... Well, we need to be on that track anyhow. Um, every half hour, this train will run. So we're going to make sure that this guy isn't going too fast. He's at 16 right now, so we'll do this. And I'm going to jump over, and you can see that this guy is on his way up to uh, the next station with 58 passengers on it. He's going up to Ella. The The hard part here is, is that there's no passing track up here at Ella. So, like, when we look at the map up here at Ella, there is no passing track for the depot. So that makes it very, uh, very difficult to do anything up here at Ella because this train will be sitting here. So I'm probably going to have to let it drop off all its passengers and then drive it up here and park it um, to pick up all the rest of the stuff. So we'll jump back to more freedom number one. And we will make our way up to Ella and then get that train moved. All right, well, we've made it in here, and we're slipping down the hill, so let's bring her back a little bit more. And put on our brake. Connect that up. Uh, release that handbrake. And... Down here, I think there's a couple handbrakes on, so let's get those taken off. And where's it at? There it is. 
Okay, we're ready to roll out, and we'll run up here, and I'll show you that I moved the other train. So we're going to do something real fast. Brakes coming off, looking good. Not much to it, you know, we're just running down here, we're picking up these empties and then we're gonna head back up to Whittier. Uh, we're gonna make some change, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what we're doing with our passenger train as well. goes to just a we'll check our map here he's coming in we can see train two here on the map so we're gonna continue straight through here nice day out. Open the door as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to more freedom number two. This one should, like it should continue just straight. Check number one, make sure it's going the, the speed that we want it to be, so... Get it past here. I get a screenshot while we're at it. Get all these empties out of here. Those are all going to the exchange. So what we're going to do is we're going to take number two here and we're going to back it up. As soon as this one gets past this intersection here, the, or this switch. Make sure that it's good. Still at 16 miles an hour. So we're good. We'll throw that switch. Oh, you, you can this one. I don't know why it's so quiet. Yeah, I don't know why the thing is so quiet. Anyway, we'll reverse. Shouldn't have... Oh. Well, that'll do her. I was on the wrong train. That's why. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, uh, we'll fix that. There we go. Confused myself. Okay, we need to be in reverse. I must have hit the button. I don't know. I don't know. I know I could have let the AI do this, but demonstration purposes. We'll get her going here. Passengers, they're going to Whittier. There were 49 passengers waiting.
So they should start loading. And they are. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to close that. We're going to check on this train. Okay, she's good. And we are... We're going to wait for this to load. We're going to wait for our, the other one to get where it needs to be because then we're going to set this one to AI road and let it to do its thing. But uh, we're going to go deal with this train first. We're going to get it to where we need it to be and flip all of our switches. So let's check our map, see where we are. We are right here. So we've got to go all the way over to here before we can deal with those switches. So we're going to cruise along. All right, well, it looks like we're coming into the yard here. Don't need that independent break on. So once we get through this yard up here, um, we're going to set some switches for the AI train for us. Which is currently, let's check her out. Actually, let's not mess with that right now. Let's check, make sure our switches are good. We're going to go straight. And we're going to go straight. Make sure. Straight. Straight. There, there. And there. Give a uh, reduce our speed here. So wait for this guy to go through. Well, actually, we can start doing all of this. So what we're going to do is our our I can't talk. Our switches should be good. Um, I'm going to do this and slow this guy down on just a hair. Let's hit this. Let's go over here. Our switches should be good. We're going to go... Rev Actually, we're going to do this. We're going to go manual, AI road, reverse, max speed 25. We're going to hit this. Go back over here. And we should be good. He should be taken off. With 60 passengers. So we need to bring this guy down to, okay, so we can get on this track, and we're good there, straight there, straight there, and straight here. Bring it down this way and into this track right here. Okay. Okay. 
So we should be good to take it into the interchange to drop off all of these. Because they are going to the interchange. I have that set to go to the repair track for the evening. So when we bring the train back, if we're close, we'll put it back on the repair track so it repairs overnight. Nice leisurely stroll. And once we get these placed, we will go back over and we'll grab the full ones and bring them over here. I should be able to fit all of these in here, so... Uh, probably to right there. Oh, goodness. Are we all in? We are not all in. So we got to bring them all in here. Uh, let's go forward. Are we good there? We're good there. Bring them forward, and we will get all of them into here so we can... Make sure all of our cars are on, and we're going to split them, I suppose. Brakes. Give me some brakes. Uh, where are we going to split them at? Where are we going to split them? Right here? I don't think if I, even if I back up, I could probably get one car in there. We're going to get as many cars in as we can, I guess. There we go. And we'll cut it right here. And brake. And brake. Forward. And we're going to switch. Once we get past this switch, we will push them onto the other track over here. All right, back them up. Keep them going, keep them going. Couple more car lengths here. Start giving some brake. Okay. And she is applied. So now we need to come back forward and we need to draw or jog back over here and pick up those full cars and bring them back over here. So what we'll do is we will um, go forward. And we're going to have to run all the way down to here. So we want this one and that one. We're going to make it past this one and we're going to back up down this track.
daily life of the railroad operations, I suppose. Okay, we're going to throw that switch. We're going to run around all of these cars down to here and make the jump over onto these tracks. Okay. And we're going to run on over and pick up our cars. So, yeah, this is like the life of running the railroad here. Make sure we're not going too fast. We don't want to derail. So we got our empties right there that they'll be picking up. And so what I'm thinking is, is that I will... I've got a plan here of how to do all of this. Since this is all the interchange on this side, which we can do by going here, and then we can look at the interchange. Since it's all three of these... Oh, is that only two of those tracks? Oh, well, I'm glad I looked. So we got a, we got a couple things we got to do then. Since the one track is not the interchange... We'll have to make some adjustments to it, but that's not terrible. Got to get past this track here. Let's give ourselves some braking. Over to here and up to there. And once we get past this one, we will back into that guy and grab those cars. That is still not full, still half. Those are good to go. Bring her back, Mike. Bring her back, Mike. Looking good. Looking good. That was a quick stop. Uh, release. Okay. All right, so we got to bring those over to. Well, we'll have to go forward anyway. Make sure our switches are set, so we have to come down this track. Get past this guy, and then back back up that way.
Okay, get back them back them out onto the main line, and then once we are out here, we will bring them down to. So it's these two tracks where everything is. So I'm gonna run it all the way down here, and unfortunately, I need to back up and pick up these three cars and push them into this siding. Actually, what I need to do is think about this for a minute. Let that go for just a second. So I need to push those cars back where those three cars were. Um, I'm going to bring them down here, the, these cars down here, drop them off with this line, and then push those cars back over to there. So that's what we're going to be doing. All right, we made it to the end over here, so let's hit some brakes. Close down just a bit here. Nope, we want to do that way. And bring it into here, bring it back to here. And bring it into there and shove those cars back. Because I think the track is only these right here. Am I right in saying that? Oh, no. It goes all the way down to there. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, that's better. I thought it was only um, that small section. So it actually goes all the way down to here. So I can... I'm going to grab those cars, hook them onto this, and then it should cover all of that. So we should be good once we hook up these cars. So I'll know that for next time, that it is the length of these two middle tracks. And it doesn't include the outside track, the two outside tracks, but it includes the two middle tracks, the length of them. Okay, take off that handbrake. Make sure we're right here. And then we'll come back and get the cars on the middle track here. Oh, I mean, technically it's done, but I'm going to back them up anyway.
And those are good. So we can come over here. We can hit that handbrake. Pop that. Hit that handbrake. Those are good. Now we just got to back up and grab those other ones. Well, let's check in on our passenger train real fast. We have 58 passengers waiting here, so I'm going to hit that Ella Station button on this. I've already hit the forward and 25, so it'll take off eventually and take it to where it needs to go. Uh, I think it's it's set to wait like a half an hour. So I that's what I set it as, operations, uh, forward... Uh, somewhere I said it to be a half hour. Oh, yeah, it was in the, here, under settings, features, minimum stop duration, 30 minutes. So it'll, it'll wait 30 minutes and it will do its thing. We are hooked up to our train now, so we can start backing that up and take it back over here, put it in over there. So... Let's get that going. Well, I need to get that going straight. Let's make sure we're on this track. Uh, that one's good to go. That one's good to go. That one's good to go. We need to get all the way up to here, and then we'll be able to pull in and do all the things. We good? We're, we're good. Okay. Those are good. Put these guys back over here and then we'll call it a day. Or a morning at least. We still have some work to do, but... Now we're going to keep her going here. A little bit more work here. Keep bringing her back, bringing her back. Give me a little bit of that. That was a lot of bit of that. And there we go. Unhook this. We'll actually turn that on. All right. So we have accomplished all of our goals for the day. We have uh, serviced our interchange. The one thing that we need to do is we need to come over and get those cars but we're going to save that for the next episode uh, here on the More Freedom Railroad. Uh, I want to just say thank you so much for coming and hanging out. Let's check real fast on this guy. He is still waiting, which he should be. So in the next episode, we're going to be taking MFR1, bringing it over here, and we're going to shove all of these cars back over to uh, the Connolly Connolly Creek to pick up logs for all of this stuff. So that's what we'll be doing in the next episode. Again, I appreciate you so much for coming and hanging out. And until next time, here in the More Freedom, More Freedom Railroad, take care. <laughs>